understanding indices is very important if you are going to manipulate complex numbers. This video is a continuation from the last video where we look at another law of indices. To divide powers of the same base you can subtract the indices. Consider the following. Here you can see I am dividing a to the power m by a to the power n. And when you see a division like this, what you can do is to write the base down, because you can see here we have the same base for the numbers. And if you look to the indices, you can see they are subtracting. So I am taking the n away from the m. Let's look at a concrete example. Here you can see I am dividing y to the power 5 by y to the power 2. Now if you consider y to the power 5, what we actually have are 5 y's as you can see here, all multiplied together. If you consider y to the 2, that is dividing as you can see from this. Consequently, I can put underneath the 5 y's, y to the 2, which are 2 y's as you can see here. I can go on to now cancel. So I can say that this y will cancel with this one, and this y will cancel with that. And what we are left with are these three y's. We can rewrite that as y to the power 3, meaning we have three lots of y, as you can see here. Now that reflects the fact that I can rewrite this as shown here, y to the 5 minus the 2. And of course 5 minus 2 is 3, so this will become y to the 3. Let's now confirm this with a concrete example that uses numbers. And this is the example here. You can see I am dividing 3 to the power 5 by 3 to the power 3. Consequently, I can subtract the 3 from the 5, as shown here. That will give 2. So we end up with 3 to the power 2. And of course, this means 3 times 3, which is clearly equal to 9. The following Python program will confirm what we've just considered. Here you can see I've assigned variables values. If I look here, you can see that I'm assigning a the value of 3, because that's the base of the numbers I'm dealing with here. m is assigned 5, because this is in the position of the m. And here, n is assigned 3, because this is in the position of the n. And on this line, I'm subtracting from the m, n. And that reflects this subtraction that takes place here. If you consider this line, you can see that I'm printing this calculation. If you look here, this is a to the power m, and that reflects this position, which we know is this value because of the variables we've set up here. This represents this, which is a to the power n, which for this program is the 3 to the power 3. And of course here, this is the division symbol within Python, and that replicates the division shown here. This line is going to print this calculation, and if you look at the calculation, you can see it's a raised to the power of m minus n, which is this one here, which in the terms of the concrete example, is this, where we have 3 raised to the power of the 5 minus the 3, which is obviously 3 to the 2. And this line is going to print this calculation, which is reflecting this value here, because the P is the M minus the N. And of course, that is the 5 minus the 3, which gives 2, and that reflects the 2 that is here. Now, when this program is executed, what we will see at the runtime is this. And we can see that these three print statements have in each case give us the value of 9, which reflects the results we saw here. What we need to bear in mind here, however, you can see it's 9.0. And that's because this division here gives us a value that is a float. Whereas these calculations were responsible for producing 9 being an integer as the result. Let's now consider the key points that we've learned from this video and the preceding one in this playlist. We know that we have 
a to the power 0 being equal to 1, anything raised to the power 0 is 1, we know that a raised to the 1 is going to be a. In the last video we saw this, when you know you're going to be multiplying numbers of the same base, then you can add the indices as shown here. And this video has had a look at this one, which shows if you have numbers of the same base and you're dividing them then you look to the indices and you can subtract them as shown here making sure you write down the base in this position check out the supporting website for these videos in addition why not follow me on twitter as i issue a tweet every time i upload a new video